Hello my students, how are you? Today you are going to talk about the first concept Cartesian product. What the meaning of Cartesian product? We studied before force quadrant. It was the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. This is x axis, x dash, and this y, y dash. In this quadrant, we have x and y, x and y more than zero. Okay, in and in the second quadrant, we have x less than zero and y more than zero in the third quadrant x less than zero and y less than zero in the fourth x will be positive and y will be negative so x more than zero and y less than zero it's okay and we have the order x and y x and y not equal to x and y in brackets okay if x and y equal to a and b so we will have x equal a and y equal b and you must know x and y not equal to y and x not equal to we can't repair x and y it's okay so in the quadrant a and b a and b this point we called it a and b And what about point three and two? Can you represent it in quadrant? Yes, it's easy. Look at with me. We have one, two, three, one, two, three. This point three and point three and two. The first we will start here three and join vertical to point this point is three and two so this uh, point lies on first quadrant and what about it negative four and two can you represent it in the quadrant yes negative one negative two negative uh, three and th on negative four we can represent negative four and two here we, you must start at this point and join vertically to units 1, 2 this point is negative 4 and 2 it's ok look at this example try find the values of x and y in each of the following number 1 look at by right hand side x plus 1 and y power 2 equal 3 and 9 we know the first such that a and b equal x and y so a equal b and y equal b a is called the first projection b is called the second projection it's ok ok in this example x plus 1 and y power 2 equal 3 and 9 can you find x and y? it's easy we'll divide the notebook right here x plus 1 equal 3 and by right hand y power 2 equal 9 again 
x plus 1 equal 3 and y power 2 equal 9 x plus 1 equal 3 so x equal 2 it's okay and y will be positive or negative square root of 9 y will be positive or negative 3 it's easy for you it's okay another example number 2 the order x power 3 subtract 5 and 8 equal to the order of 3 and Three y subtract seven. Who can solve it with me? First, we'll divide the multiple. You would divide it. Here, the first production. X power three subtract five. Well, equal to three. And eight equal. 3y subtract 7 negative 5 we can move it by right hand side it will be 3 plus 5 we must inverse the sign negative 5 convert to positive so x power 3 equals 8 can you find x it's a new number you can find the result of x x refers to the digit will be cube root of 8 or which number we can times itself 3 times the result will be 8 this number will be 2 so x will be 2 and this example 8 equal 3y subtract 7 we can move x negative 7 here to right hand side 8 plus 7 equal 3 and y Look at this equation of y. You can find the result. It will be 15 equal 3y. And then you can find y by divided by 3. So 15 divided by 3 equal 5. 3y divided by 3 equal y. So y will be 5. x will be 2. And 5 equal y. It's okay with you. Question number three. Question number three. Look at with me here. First, order x power two subtract two and two y equal y and cube root of sixty four. Who can solve it? First, we can divide it by root of here. First projection here, it was the first projection here. x power 2 subtract 2 equal y and 2y equal cube root of 64. x power 2 subtract 2 equal y. We can't find the result of x so far here because we have two unknown letters. But in this example, we can find the result of y. y times 2 equal cube root of 64. Cube root of 64 equal 4. Because 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. So 2 times 8 equal 4. We can find the result by y by divided by 2. y equal 4 divided by 2 equal 2. And then x power 2 equal y plus we can move in negative 2 by right hand side here and then we can lies y or equal to her cancel the y exists and write 2 in this location 2 plus 2 so x power 2 equal 4 then x equal positive or negative square root of 2 x equal positive or negative 2 it's easy okay another example x product y but with two sets such that x and y we can 
represented by arrow diagram and Cartesian diagram. Look at this arrow diagram. If you want to find y product x, you must write y here. Vertical elements 5, 7, 8, and x1, 2, and d. Again, it's another steps you can join by all the steps here 5 to 1, 5 to 2, such as that. 5 and 1, 5 and 2, 7 and 1, 7 and 2, 8 and 1, 8 and 2. It calls our diagram. And it's called Cartesian diagram. Look at this example. What about fx equal a set of 2 and 4 and the y equal a set of 1, 2 and 3 and he won't find x product y x product y we can find the order 2 and y and 1 here and 2 2 2 and 3 and then we can write 4 and 1 4 and 2 4 and 3 it's okay and then we can represent it by the arrow diagram we can draw x and y this will be x and this will be y and we write here all element from x to and y 2 and 4 here and y will be 1 and 2 and 3 and then we can join we will join from 1 to 1 this is our diagram and 4 to 3 look at with me here 4 is two. Are you finished with me? Complete two with three, two with two, two and one. It's okay. It's the R the gram. And what about Cartesian diagram? Cartesian diagram, we can draw vertical and horizontal here, and this will be joined, and this, and we can join other steps here. It's okay. It will be X and this will be y. We can write all elements for x here, 4 and 2, or 2 and 4. So you must write the first here, and the second here first, projection, 2, 2, second projection, 1, 2, 2, 1, okay? The elements of y, 1 and 2 and 3, 1, 2 and 3. From 2 and 1, 2 and 2, 2 and 3, 4 and 1, 4 and 2, 4 and 3. It's okay. It's called the Cartesian diagram. Cartesian diagram. Look at as example. What about if give you x equal set of two and three and five, and he won't find x or two. It's power two refers to x product x by using our diagram. We can draw. 
square is square it's okay and x r2 we can find all elements by x here 2 and 3 and and 5 here and then we can join 2 2 2 and from 2 and 5 2 and 3 and then 3 to itself 3 to itself here 3 to 5 and 3 with 2 and then the last number 5 we can join 5 by itself 5 and 2 5 and 3 it's ok, it's a relation between x and x we can draw the diagram by this square this figure refers to x and x it's ok you know this this figure is called a lot to show that the arrow is from the point and the return is to its point such as that when you want to find x power 2 by product Cartesian you can find 2 and 2, 2 and 3, 2 and 5 and 3 by 2, 3 by 3, 3 by 5 5 by 2, 5 by 3, 5 by 5 it's ok look at with me another example Remember, remember with me number of x in first two number look at with me this n reverse two number n of x reverse two number of elements of x okay try with me number two if x equal uh, 3 and 4 and 5 y equal 5 and 6 and z equal 1 and 4 find each of the following number 1 x product y and represent it by an arrow diagram number two x power two and represent it by Cartesian diagram number three number of x product z and number of y power two okay first we have x and y and we want to find x product y x product y we can right here all element of x 3 4 and 5 product y 5 and 6 the result will be 3 and 5 3 and 6 3 and 6 again 3 and 5 3 and 6 4 4 and 5 4 and 6 and first projection 5 and 5 5 and 6 it's okay and we will close practice here this was the result are you understood with me it's okay this number one number two he won't find x power two and represent it by Cartesian integral x power two equal x product x the element of x three and four and the five product itself 3 and 4 and 5 the result will be 3 with 3 3 and 4 3 and 5 4 and 3 4 and 4 
4 is 5 5 with 3 5 with 4 5 with 5 it's ok and the result end by Cartesian integral we have 3 elements by x we can draw square and write all element of x here in the square and join from first projection to second projection right element here 3 4 and 5 join 3 to 3 4 to 4 5 to 5 and then we can join 3 by 4 3 with 5 and 4 with 3 5 with 3 and 4 with 5 and 5 with 4 okay question number three number of x product z number of x product z who can solve it you can find all element in x and we can count it look at with me x has three element one two three and z z equal 1 and 4 so number of elements of z two elements so n product number of x product number of elements of your order z and x equal 3 times 2 equals 6 it's easy for you number of product x and the Cartesian product to x and z we have six order we have six order it's easy again when you want to solve this question you must find number of x number element of x x have three elements and z have two elements so three times two equals six and what about number of y over two number y power 2 huh? who can solve it it's very easy for you look at with me y has two element y has two elements so number of y power 2 equal 4 equal what 4 it's easy for you understood again again I will talk it again it's product y we write x here and y, z of x, z of y, and find the product between x and y, first projection x, 3 and 5, 3 and 6, 4 and 5, 4 and 6, 5 and 5, 5 and 6, and x power 2, or x square, equal z of x, product z of x, and we can represent the result. 3 by 3, 3 by 4, 3 by 5, and so on. Okay, and then we can draw x power 2 by our diagram, write all elements of uh, x here, and we can join between 3 with itself, 4 with itself, 5 with itself, and 3 with 4, 4 with 3, 3 with 5, 5 with 3, 5 with 4, 4 with 5, and, and we can find all this order by this. Degram. Try three with me. If x equal two and three, and y equal set of one and three and five, and z equal set of two. Find by Venn diagram. Represent each of the x and y and z by Venn diagram. Look at with me. First, we must find the elements which 
intersection between three sets look at three and the three and set of z subset of x so we can drawing this and this is circle and the circle is refers to set of z right here too and it will be x two and three and three inside x three inside y we can draw another circle here where there's actually three here right three and this will be y set of y we write three and we must try it one and five outside here one and five it's okay for you it's a vindigram another question number one find z product of x intersection y we have all elements of x and y and this intersection between three and the element of z equal to so z equal z of two product x intersection y equal three the result will be two and three we have all the order the first projection is two and second projection is three this number one it's okay for you understood okay another example number two we want to find z product x union of z product y we can solve it z product x z and x we must find the product between Cartesian product uh, between z and x and z and y and then find the union look at with me we write here x product of x of uh, the first again sorry we want to find z product of x okay z product of x equal a set of two times x set of two and three the result will be two and two two and three so okay for you huh? are you understood it complete with me z product y z and y z set of two product y one and two and three one and three and five sorry pay attention with me we will we will find the order two and one two and three and two and five so we can find z product x union of z product y we feel we will write all the points and these points and we can't repairing the two and three we can't repeat it okay don't repeat it so we can write two and two two and three two and one two and three right here don't try it again okay if you have this element or this point you can't refer here don't try it again so barbets of the brackets we write the point one time complete we can write a two and the five and we will finish it try four look at with me try four look with me 
try for mention the quadrant or the axis on which each point lie negative 3 and 5 the quadrant or the axis look at with me here I took before about quadrant now you remember quadrant with me this quadrant the first second third fourth quadrant this point lies on first the sign will be positive and positive and in the second negative and positive in the third negative and negative in the fourth positive and negative it's okay for you okay we will solve it negative 3 and 5 lies where negative 3 and 5 in the second in the second quadrant in the second quadrant it's okay in the second quadrant and 2 and negative 1 positive and negative uh, positive and negative in the fourth in the fourth quadrant and what about five and half it's positive and positive positive and positive in the first quadrant in the first and what about negative third and negative two and one over four it's negative and negative it's okay negative and negative negative and negative in the third what about 0 and 5 look at with me this point 0 and 5 we have x 0 0 and 5 here 0 and 5 it point such that 1 2 3 4 5 this point 0 and 5 so if we have x 0 this point lies on y axis lies on y axis it's okay and what about negative one and half and zero look at negative one and half here such as at her it lies on x axis x axis it's very easy for you look at with me this point x and y if we have y zero is a point where it lies on x axis if we have y or x zero the is our point lies say on y axis okay again we have x and y you know that we know this point x and y and if he give you this example 0 and 5 and he wanted to revert or raising this point in this quadrant look at x and y if x is 0 the point lies on y if y is 0 the point will lie on x axis Okay, are you, are you understood? Look at with me another example. Try five. If x equal interval of now we will have the interval, not brackets. Pay attention with me. Okay, pay attention. This x interval from negative two and one and y from 0 and 2 find the region which express each of the following using the perpendicular square need of the Cartesian R to R number one we want to find x product x who can solve this with me first we must draw coordinate or x x dash and y y dash and then write elements one two and three negative one negative two negative three negative four one two three four five negative one negative two negative three negative one here negative two negative three look at we must write 
x and x axis okay the first we were represent it by x x dash x equal interval from negative 2 and 1 negative 2 here 1 here and then we will draw two vertical two vertical straight line here it's so, okay and x equal negative 2 and 1 again from negative 2 here and 1 here we can do horizontal horizontal here horizontal line and this again phase to the solve by x product x so the x product x we will color this region it's okay and what about x and y x and y look with me here x and y we'll draw vertical and horizontal one two three four negative one negative two negative three negative four one two three four negative one negative two negative three it's okay look at with me he wanted to draw x product y x product y x product y x element or interval from 0 and 2 this x look at again with me it's y so we can't replacing x product y by y product x it's not equal to so we must write x first x from negative 2 and 1 product y from 0 and 2 negative 2 and 1 negative 2 here and 1 it's ok we can draw this interval and using the order to draw two vertical here it's ok again first we can draw it by x x dash interval from negative 2 1 negative 2 to 1 and the drawing to vertical here okay. okay and product y y from 0 and 2 0 here and 2 here and we must drawing here and this area first to x product y and what about uh, about uh, point a one or two lies on or not one and two pulling two so this point lies on this uh, area so one and two pulling two x product y and what what about p this point zero and negative two zero and negative two not boiling two not boiling two because it's out it was out okay and what about this point C negative 3 3 equal uh, 3 3 and negative 1 lies on or not where where 3 and negative 1 3 and negative 1 here this point out this area so this point not pulling it to x product y say so, okay not pulling it to and what about the last point d negative 2 and 2 where negative 2 and 2 here this point negative 2 and 2 we start here and join up to point okay and this point refers to negative 2 and 2 so this point pointing to x product y okay it's easy for you now we finish 
all examples in the book. In the next video, we'll complete all examples. Thank you, my students. Goodbye.